there have just been, I don't know what happened here, but training camp started and everyone got hurt. <laughs> Everyone. We know Mike Hoffman's going to be out for a few weeks. Uh, Devin Taves out of Colorado will miss the start of the season from I believe, his soldier surgery. Uh, Phil Kessel has a foot injury that may keep him out for some time. Uh, Nick Backstrom is week to week after rehabbing a hip injury. I think it's the same one he got surgery for a couple of years ago. And Evgeny Malkin is set to be out for two months uh, after knee surgery, still recovering from that. Uh, shout out to Pittsburgh, who uh, aren't going to have either of uh, Malkin or Crosby at the start of the year. But they won't. It doesn't matter to them. Do we do an exercise? I would. I think I know where you're going with this, but sure. Let's it's do the, the same exercise. one that we did with Tampa Bay. Said, who's going to replace the third line? We all picked a name. I think I picked Jimmy Huntington just because of the right. name. Can you pull up Cap Friendly, um, if you can, and go on sure. the Pittsburgh Penguins and scroll down to their non-roster forwards? Right. I'm still going to pick a roster forward, but it's just, I know they had a... Uh, That's the first line center. They had an interview, yeah, with uh, Jeff Carter, and apparently like he's going to go back to center, oh, and then yeah. he's going to play like a bunch of minutes for them. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I, I don't know. There's just all these names. I'm like, well, Philip Hollander. Oh my gosh, I forgot he's on a PTO. Who? Brian Boyle. Oh, for the yes. Penguins. Yes, what? yes, yes, yes. I yeah. Remember. Excuse me. Yeah. When did yeah. that happen? A few weeks ago. Oh, they got back Dominic Simon as well. He was on the uh, Flames last year. Didn't know uh, he left. So I I'm gonna pick Justin Almeida, 22 years old. Okay. That is my guy to have a breakout season, just like Teddy Bluger. This guy has been a journeyman for a couple of teams. I'm going to go Michael Chaput, former Canuck. I think he had a cup of tea with the Habs. Michael Chaput, let's go. All right, I'm going to pick Casper Bjorkquist, who, fun fact, was the second-round pick that the Leafs technically got for Dan Winnick, but it was conditional, and then they traded it back in the Kessel trade. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not bad. A lot of assets. The Penguins. Just a fascinating team. Just, uh, what are they going to be in three, four years? I wonder. Like, when does the. I was going to say one. I was going to say one thing, but I'm like, oh, wait, no, this doesn't fit your your regular scenarios. I'm like, I thought you were going to pick Samuel Poulon, but I'm assuming he should be traded after training camp. Naturally, he'll he'll be traded for Phil Castle and he'll come back. Yeah. You see. Exactly. Yeah. Not Mark Andre Fleury this time? Nah, you wish, you wish, but you know, what's fascinating about Pittsburgh is they have just been so competitive for so long now. Like they they outlasted the Blackhawks into sort of like competitiveness. The Kings, obviously, the Kings rebuilt in that time. The Pens have been competitive. It's hilarious to think of just how well and as much criticism as as we throw at the Penguins and many people do. Just what a, a well ran organization. Yeah. I mean, they, they find ways to surround their star players and not necessarily put themselves in horrible situations like other teams had done in the past. Um, and if they did put themselves in a bad situation, they were able to get themselves out. Bad contract. Ah, this guy played with Crosby. We'll give him to you for a second. And that's how it works. Exactly. And they really hit with like the late picks. You know what I mean? Like even when they were super, super competitive, it's like okay, next guy, next guy up. Like Brian Russell's Gensel's out of nowhere too. Pots forty goals. Like what is this? I which wish al- every team was at this. Yeah. Which allowed them to go out and trade for these guys, like a Jason Zucker. At, at, at one point, Phil Kessel. Yeah, at one point, yeah. literally, uh, you Phil Kessel. Yeah. Wild team, wild team. You know, of course, never forget the who should be a Hall of Famer, Chris Kunitz. One of my favorite debates we've ever had on the show. Let us know in the comments of the YouTube version, which you should check out on the show. Also, when you leave a review, let us know who should who has a bet, better pedigree to be a Hall of Famer. Connor McDavid right now, Chris Kunitz. It's Chris Kunitz. Oh, me. We're changing the players. It's now. It's no longer John Tavares. <laughs> okay. I have made. I've made that point. Now it's it's time to move. On. <laughs> okay. How many Stanley Cups does Con- none? How many gold medals does not none? Wow. He has a gold medal, <laughs> multiple cups. There it is. 
Yeah. And the people who are always like, oh my god, the championships, they're, they're above all when talking about, oh, it's garbage. Uh, it's garbage. Beside that, and that, that just turned into a pure Pittsburgh, pure, pure Pittsburgh. But um, yeah, Dude, everyone's which hurt. Which the best? Yeah, he's old and he's got to play center. Yeah. It's a shame. Carries that team. And do you know what's sickening? He'll pull it off perfectly. Exactly. Because Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh, everything gets done well in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Uh, no matter who's in charge. Mm hmm. Yo, God. Yeah. You think of all the flack that Jeremy Rutherford used to get. <laughs> and it was like, you know, you're a dar, you should be fired. And then he fires the head coach. And then Sullivan comes in and they win two cups. And you're like, cool. Okay. All right. You know, they had Michelle Terry as a coach at one point. I remember and, that. And it was just, ah, whatever. So we should probably move on, though. Pittsburgh. Um, that was going to be an injury segment, but you got it anyway. I'm okay. That, that's a preview right there. Praising the Penguins. 